No, not to worry. Whenever you're ready to trek across the jungle, I'll be ready to sit here and watch. Ah, very good work out there with the Arcanists. People want to believe freelancers have their backs. After Freemark, belief hard to come by. Glad I could help. How's Freelancer Rife doing? Good! She put up a hell of a fight. Of course. She knows I would be angry to write her story for the wall. But, my young friend, she is alive. This is a good story to tell. People will hear of it. Think that'll help around here? Oh, yes. Now, Rife is recovering at the bar if you want to check on her. I will keep an eye out for contracts, never fear. I should get some more writing done. Too many distractions recently. Give me a day. One more day, please. Payment is due now. I just don't think earwax should be that color, is all I said. Hey, good to see you. You're a freelancer, right? I think you knew that. I never assume. Like, I'm a laundryman now, right? But not very long ago, I was a cleaning guy. I figured you were like me, always on the move. We're not that alike. Sure we are. Anyway, you know Yarrow, right? That super old freelancer? Sure, I know Yarrow. You think you know him, but did you hear about him and the Tessalar? No, and I should be going. Ah, oh, too bad. Hey, do you have time for lunch? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, we're both so busy, huh? So, all right, I'll see you around. Looks like this is your lucky day. Why is that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jarek. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah? Like what? I was there when the scars swarmed the fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over 50 years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. I hope you're right. Oh, I am, Freelancer. I've lived a life filled with bloodshed and disaster. I've survived strider ambushes, dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Heliost when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water. But there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. You're tough as nails. That's why you're still alive. I guess so. You guess? How else does one man live while five perish? I just did what I had to do. Yeah, and you were lucky. I sure was. I guess you need at least a little good fortune to become the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. In some ways, I am lucky. You cheered me up, Freelancer. Thank you. You're welcome, old-timer. Maybe next time we meet. I'll tell you how I survived the massacre on the terraces. Hey. 
Hey, where is my dr You must be right. Yarrow said I'd find you here. Yeah. You're the one who flew in with a hail of bullets and flaming glory. Correct. That was me. Well, right on, big star. That was something to see. Backed up into that tunnel, trying to keep those arcanists ticking. It got tense. I mean, I was looking forward to using Nelly on those cockroaches. Nelly? My sword. Helps me perform my community service. Figured she saved my butt so many times. She should get a name. <laughs> you seem to be recovering nicely. I got two working fists. One for punching, one for drinking. That's all I need. So, I'm guessing you're here to stay. You've been keeping to yourself, but I've seen you around. There's work, yeah. I get the impression business is picking up. Been tough for a while. Couple of weeks, I was barely scraping by. But man, there's nothing like being a freelancer, right? So hey, thanks for showing up when you did. I owe you one. Glad it worked out. Anyway, I'm probably still bleeding somewhere. Should get that fixed. I'll see you around, big star. Sorry, freelancer. Hi again. Freelancer. Uh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Were you trying to make a joke, Bryn? I'm attempting something new. I don't think I enjoyed it. I should tell you, I'm impressed with how you've handled yourself on missions. Freelancers. We get the job done. Sometimes. From what I've heard. And you believe everything you hear? You do seem shockingly reliable. Shockingly? Oh, uh, pleasantly. Uh, um, surprisingly? Has anyone ever told you that you're not great with people, Bryn? Oh, constantly. How do you even have an opinion of freelancers if I'm the first one you've worked with? Hmm. From radio shows and other Sentinels. Have you ever considered Sentinel life? They've asked. I've never been tempted. Really? Really. You seem good at what you do, but it's too many rules and regs for me. <laughs> oh, rules and regs keep the world in order. A place for everything. Sounds like you've used that line before. My mother's favorite. She was a sentinel too. And she also loved rules. Isn't working with freelancers without permission breaking those rules? If the sentinels don't adapt, the fort won't be around much longer to protect. And isn't that adapting just breaking the rules with purpose? <laughs> now you're just talking nonsense. I'll see you around. Potentially. Hi again, Bryn. Freelancer. Hello again. Hi. While I have you, we need more information about this odd scar activity. If you have time to lend the Sentinels a hand. On it. Just pass on the details when you have them. Yes. Will do. Ah, Freelancer. 
What can Matthias Errol Sumner help you with today? I just wanted to see how you were doing. My research is progressing. I'm still alive and very happy about it. I intended to buy you a drink as thanks for the rescue, but then I remembered being banned from the bar. Uh, you're banned? Why? For, uh, starting fights. Not proud of it, it just happened. One minute someone's mocking Von Blatt's theory of diurnal obsolescence, the next minute you got bloody knuckles. You know how it is. Yeah, I know what you mean. Emotions take over. Exactly. Sometimes old impulses take over. Old impulses? Growing up in the streets of Helios, you pick up some bad habits. Discourse, dialogue, civility, the Arcanist ways, those I had to learn. Lashing out is instinct. I didn't know you grew up on the streets. I don't advertise it. You should be proud. You're a survivor. This world needs more Arcanists like you. Like me? You want more kids orphaned young with to fend for themselves? I didn't mean... I get it. Fewer soft bookish types, more bloody knuckles and cynicism. You know, I prefer a world where no one gets calluses on their soul. But that's not the world we live in. Complete acceptance of the world's failings inhibits the will to change it. And we can change it. Through knowledge, we can make the world better. That's what the Arcanist Order does. That's what I do. Speaking of which, I have some experiments to oversee. I don't want something to blow up and make orphans. Heard Tassin mumbling about the Dominion? Did you know I once hid in a mound of rotting bones? Patching in Arcanist Matthias. So how did you learn about where we're headed? From very old field notes. There was something the writer wasn't saying. Something important they didn't write down. I'm certain of it. So you had a hunch? A hypothesis. Right. What secrets must they hold? Let's find out. quite dense here. What am I looking for? A marker of some type, something other archivists can recognize. There's a low hum of power. I'm sure it's here. Some very aggressive wolves that have taken up residence. Please, clear them out. That I can do. There, 
Yes. Unusual design. Hmm. I've seen this before. It won't trigger whether the right stimulus. Which is what? A shift in energy. We create a big enough change, the wires detect it, the marker triggers. Like a fire alarm? Exactly. That shaper object across from the marker is made for echoes. Got it. Let's build a fire. Another echo should be close. shift in energy. More echoes needed. but only from very far away, behind a wall, with the lights on. will happen when we trigger the marker. I can't say for sure. My theory, however, is we learn something about the hidden runes. Got some scars out here. Leave it to them to be grubbing about. They have a special sensitivity to certain kinds of energy. It has to be related to their insect physiology. I wonder if... Kind of in the middle of something right now, Matthias. Ah, yes, of course. Fishing wheel. 
For freelancers. Oh. Better. I gotta respect that. She's shifting. in the jungle. There's script you're looking for. The Elysian Manuscript. Right. What do you think you'll find in there? Find? Well, Argonists pursue the truth, but time twists truth, hides it. The manuscript is a window to a very old truth. left for us. Amazing. What's happening? What are those? 
Quickly now. Find all you can before they disappear. Those are runes, my capable associate. Invisible runes. But I can see them. Just for the moment. This energy surge won't last. Got it. Very strange energy signature. Secret writing. A technique lost and forgotten. I think the key to my work was right in front of me. You got it? I did. Oh dear, the energy is starting to fluctuate. Does that mean hurry? Yes. That's all we're gonna get. Ah, should be enough. I have an idea how to find more of these in the future. You think they'll help? Yes, I'll explain when we get back to Fort Tarsus, but first... Thank you. These runes hold the key to finding the Elysian Manuscript. I'm certain. Hey there, it's me. Owen? We need to chat. It's important. Meet me in the bar. Okay, I'll be there. Owen? Huh. Hey, where's my drink? I think you've had enough for one day. I'll tell you when I've had enough.
What's up? What are you talking about? You called me, mate. No, you... Oh, hold on a second. The Monitor is leading a mission back into the heart of Rage. He wants to weaponize the Cenotaph. We decrypted the archive you recovered from the Regulator camp earlier, and we know why he's after unique Shaper relics. Doesn't mean he'll succeed. Did you know the Monitor was there when the Dominion attacked Freemark? One of the few who escaped when the Cenotaph leveled the city. Oh, shit. He's ruthless, driven, and savage. An incredibly powerful cipher and a brilliant pilot. He frightens even his own people. The storm will tear him apart. No one survives the Heart of Rage. <laughs> you did. The intel also reveals that he's perfected a way to harness the power of the Cenotaph. And we cannot let that happen. Obviously. I need you to find a way through the Heart of Rage. Get to the Cenotaph first and silence it. Do what freelancers do. Do what freelancers do? You're talking about a bloody cataclysm. He's right. We aren't equipped to take that on. Hm. Of course. Well, I can think of others who survived the Heart of Rage that day, who never let it go, studied it. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm supposed to know this one. My old partners, Halleck and Faye. Intel says the Monitor is on their trail. Suggests Faye has found something important. Last known location. Oh, I can. <clears throat> so, Halleck and Faye. Intel says your partnership ended badly. I don't know. We just kind of grew apart. Really? Because I heard that Halleck never forgave you for pulling him out of that storm and Faye went... <whistles> Where are we going? Oh, right. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. No, Halleck and Faye are working with Princess Zim. The regulator boss? Oh, please. She's a smuggler at best. She's a full-fledged crime lord at worst. We really need them. To get through the heart of rage and beat the monitor to the cenotaph. Yeah, we need them. Do we? You and I? We're such a solid team already. Of course. That's why Tassin picked us. You got my back, I got yours. All right. Hey, considering that the Monitor is both Lancer and Cypher, we could probably use a very fabulous Cypher-Javelin pilot combo of our own. Oh, and be patient. Pilot lessons are going fine, but seriously, it might take you years. Okay. You know what? This might be fun. Apparently, Princess Zim's camp is like a traveling carnival. Now, it's a traveling carnival run by bloodthirsty gangsters oh, who like gifts. So you need to get us something to get in. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah, what could possibly go wrong? So, what are you after today? Matthias Sumner. Is he really banned from the bar? That arcanist? Oh yeah. Technically, he's not allowed within half a click, but the fort's not that big. Half a click? You didn't mention that. What happened exactly? He's sitting over there with a bunch of brains. They had about five rounds of silver, no sign of drying up. They start arguing about some nonsense. I don't know what got said, but Matthias throws a drink at one guy. Then Genius Boy stands up on the table, shouts, do the math or shove off, and flings himself at the guy. Smashed the hell out of the table, tried to stab a guy with a busted chair leg. I had to call the Sentinels. Huh. I guess he really likes math. Yeah, that makes it all better. Anyway, everything going all right around here lately? No curses or anything? Doesn't work like that. Guy before Dusty, Zeno something, took over. Changed the name to the Black Emporium. Two months later, hit by lightning inside the fort. Sentinels found him fried to a crisp and fused to his chair in the back room. Glitch crap just happens. You don't hear about it beforehand. I see plenty of things in the jungle just as weird as that. The further out into the frontier you go, the more glitched it gets. I'm not sweating it. Besides, this is the only spot to get a drink between Antium and glitching Allheim. It's worth nearly as much as the city of Helios. I'm not giving that up for a scary story. I 
I just don't think earwax should be that color, is all I said. I'm telling you, straight up. I'm so glad to see you. I've been wanting to warn you about the bar owner. Okay. Her name is Max. All right. Now be careful with her. I'm telling you this as a friend. So you think we're pals or something? Yes, I feel very close to you. I mean, that's why I'm telling you this. It's for your safety. Got it. Okay, so I heard Max has connections to the regulators. Word in the fort is, if you owe her money and don't pay up, you could end up face down in a scar encampment, torn apart by Wyvern. But if she's got regulator connections, why wouldn't she turn you over to them? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard, because I don't want you to get hurt. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome, my friend. Freelancer? Freelancer, yes, excellent, you're here. Matthias? Need something? Need something? Oh, no, no, no. Have something. You remember that strange energy the runes emitted? I remember you mentioning something while I collected them. I managed to isolate and identify the energy pattern. I passed it along to your cipher. Who can now help me find those invisible runes? Which are the key to unlocking another impenetrable mystery. Which means you want me to go find more of them. Yes, the more the better. With enough, I'm certain I can find the location of the Elysian Manuscript. Certain. I have several leads. It's very promising. Talk later. You got it, Matthias. Heard tat. You're a merchant. What are you selling? You're a freelancer, right? What gave me away? The freelancer logo. I was... Never mind. Do you need something? What does it cost to... to contract you? It changes, depending on the ask. My grain supplier put his business on hold until he can resolve some sort of family argument. That's a little out of the freelancer purview, I'm afraid. Oh, no. What's going on, exactly? It's... It's my business. My parents are gone, and it's just me now. I'm Mora, by the way. I sell fruits, uh, vegetables, but most of my sales were in grains. Bakeries. But now your supplier stopped shipping grain because of his family argument? Right. But I have a solution. At least, I, I think I have a solution. What's that? A farm. An inside farm. Self-sustainable, indoor farming. You'd never have to go outside the walls. I figured out a way. I did. I built a prototype. Just one seed, but it's sprouting. Sounds like it would solve your problem. You should make one. I would, but I don't have the resources. I need support, financial support. You might still find the opportunity. Maybe fruit sales will pick up. Maybe, still. 
Thank you for listening. You were very kind to a stranger. Well, that's the freelancer way, mostly. It was good to meet you. And if you ever do need fruit... I know where to find you.